it was Brahms' tree of exploring the big town. He went bramming his way along the pavements when he hoped that he was looking a bit dirty. He saw far where it came from. It was from the pilot miniature car Bram Mom who was carrying it and he didn't look happy. Oh, hello, Bram. Some truck dropped these bags of coal on the pavement. At the same time, I went driving in it, getting a dark food, said Bram Mom. It's big and no car cabinet. Where does it get delivered to? asked Bram. Tally flings railway in two wheels. That's where it was meant to be delivered to, said Bram Mon. Can you help carry the other one for me, please? Well, not to take them to wheels, but try to get to Rick Van Rantel, a blue van, and drop them. He's just hooked at the new firm, so I think it no, oh, he's not. He's heading to the Northern Depot to check his missing delivery, exclaimed Bram. So we follow him away from the big town. We entered the highway. That was where Big Fair Court would drive on. Every one of the drivers saw them in surprise when we were needing to give Rick his job to live through. Rick saw what was happening getting off the highway. Oh, who? Who? Ah. I didn't see my delivery cargo from you, he said. You dropped it and we never went on the long drive to Wales. You, you have to reach the drop to report it last, said Bram. Oh, more dirty pavement, said Bram Mon. Once we were back in the van, Rick left, honking goodbye. I'm still exploring. I wanted to see Mr. Ben, who walks on many adventures, said Bram Mon. Good luck. I've had enough of exploring. Time I should head to my new firm, said Bram. And he went off, bramming all the way home.